So we're just drifting through the uh, show. And the reason for the interruptions is when I come across a vehicle and I'm able to meet up with the owner, I do a uh, story behind the car. I would love to shoot this Packard. Packard had one of the best slogans. Their advertising. It was ask a man who owns one. So that was their uh, like magazine ads. It said Packard, ask a man who owns one. Boy, oh boy, that's such a huge car. if this car has the flux capacitor in it or not. My guess is it doesn't. If you need to touch stainless, go to an appliance store. Good advice. Love this T-Bird. Suicide doors. Hopefully I run into the owner of this one. Growing up I had a friend that uh, had one of these. Got it from his grandfather. So this week we've had beautiful weather and now it's starting to heat up. So the heat's coming on and this black parking lot. There you go, 64 with an LS swap. Looks like LMC. Yep. Or no, TMI. Why I always call TMI seats LMC. Oh, that Cadillac rear end sure is. Amazing. So that exhaust came through that bumper. I'll go around and I'll shoot that from the front. So AMC Gremlin. All original it looks like. Buick Grand National. These didn't get the attention that they deserved.
photographer and have a good camera. No, 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 no. I'm jealous, huh? Good looking impala. Seventy one Charger Super B. See the floor mat with the Super B. Check out these wheels. Got to get the Super B uh, sticker. It's the same one they use nowadays. They took the one they use nowadays and fabric it, duplicated this one, and it's also on the hood. And I think that was a grabber, if I remember correctly. That would open up and allow more air in. And I believe it was called a grabber. So you can see that motor there on the left that would rotate and it would open up the grabber, and I think it said grabber on the side. 